Well, that was kind of fun. <laughs> Welcome to the eighth annual Spring Pops concert here at Sheridan College. We are so excited to bring this evening of music to you. My name, well, I guess we know what my name is. Um, and this is the Sheridan College Symphony Band. And in case there are any administrators or trustees in the audience, this is ginger ale. <laughs> so, we are going to begin our concert with uh, this, th this entire evening is a retrospective of some of our favorite pieces that we've played throughout the year, along with some exciting new material. And the first piece that we're going to play for you is our Fall 22 concert opener, a wonderful work for wind band by the Czech composer Václav Nelibel, titled Festivo.
Hi, my name is Piper Tiffany, and I'm a Sheridan College Music Scholarship student graduating this Saturday with my AFA in music and my CC in music technology. Our next, oh, thank you. Our next piece is a number from the Broadway musical Little Women, Astonishing, composed by Jason Howland, lyrics by Mindy Dickstein, and arranged by our very own Dr. Eric Richards, follows Jo March on her journey to New York City to pursue her dreams. It is my honor to introduce to you all our vocal soloist for tonight. She is also a music scholarship student graduating this Saturday with her AFA in music and CC in music tech. Her plans are to follow her own dreams by attending the University of Colorado Denver to study music education. Would you please help me in welcoming one of my longtime best friends in our shared and zone, Madison Danforth. <laughs> Who is he? Who is he in his merry me? With his ring in his merry me, the nerve, the goal. This is not, not what was meant to be. How could he ruin it all with those two words? I thought I knew him, thought that he knew me. What did it change? What did I miss? A kiss when I thought all along that we were meant to fight frontiers. How could I be so wrong? How I need, how I need my sisters here. If I can share my dreams, what were they for? I thought our promise, well, that we would never change and never part. I thought together we'd amaze the world. How can I live my dreams or even start when everything has come apart? I thought home was all I'd ever want my attic all I'd ever need now nothing feels the way it was before and I don't know how to proceed I only know I'm meant for something more I've got to know if I can be astonishing. 
There's a life that I am meant to lead, a life like nothing I have known. I can feel it, and it's far from here. I've got to find it on my own. Even now, I feel its heat upon my skin, a life of passion that pulls me from within, a life that I am making to begin. I've got to know if I can be astonishing, astonishing. I'll find my way. I'll find it far away. I'll find it in the unexpected and unknown. My life in my own way today, and here I go. There's no turning back. My great adventure has begun. I may be small. Till I find my time and place, I will be fearless, surrendering modesty and grace. I will not disappear without a trace. I'll shout and start a riot, be anything but quiet. Christopher Columbus. I'll be astonishing, astonishing, astonishing. At last. Thank you very much. The uh, next piece that we're going to perform for you is a lovely setting of America the Beautiful that was written by um, one of the most important studio arrangers in Los Angeles in the 1950s, Carmen Dragon. A little bit of uh, music trivia there. Carmen Dragon, you might know his son a little bit. Uh, he might, you might be a little bit more familiar with his son. If you remember that group from the 1970s, the Captain and Tennille, he's the captain's dad. So, um, but he was a very, uh, very important arranger. And we've decided to pair this piece with a poem titled The American's Creed. And this was a poem that was written in 1917 by William Tyler Page. And as our country faced the onset of World War I, uh, there was a contest for poems to be written that would inspire common patriotism and the love that we all have for America. And uh, we just thought it might be appropriate to bring something like that to our community uh, to remind us all of the great fortune and blessings that we have in this country. We are extremely fortunate to have as our narrator for this piece, the president of Sheridan College, would you please welcome Dr. Walt Tribley.
I believe in the United States of America as a government of the people, by the people, for the people, whose just powers are derived from the consent of the governed. A democracy in a republic, a sovereign nation of many sovereign states, a perfect union, one and inseparable, established upon those principles of freedom, equality, justice, and humanity, for which American patriots sacrifice their lives and fortunes. I therefore believe it is my duty to my country to love it, to support its constitution, to obey its laws, to respect its flag, and to defend it against all enemies. All right, well, believe it or not, we've come to the final piece in the first part of our program. Um, but before we do that, we have a few things I'd like to talk about. Um, this concert, we want this concert to be part of the great celebration that Sheridan College is undertaking to celebrate our students, especially those that are going to be graduating on Saturday. So yes, give, well, you're, you're going to get a chance to give it up. <laughs> yes. So, if you are a Sheridan College student who will be walking that walk on Saturday, would you please stand up? <laughs> stay there, stay there. If you are, we are very fortunate to have a number of musicians from Sheridan High School and the Schiffler School. If you are graduating this year from Sheridan High School or the Schiffler School or any of our local high schools, would you please stand? How about a rousing round of applause for all of our graduates, the class of 2023. All right, you may be seated. Okay. As you might imagine, it is a very complex endeavor to take care of the print music for this group, to make sure that everybody has the correct parts, uh, at the right time for rehearsals and performances. And we are so fortunate to have an amazingly gifted musician, uh, a former educator who has just undertaken um, the reworking and management of our library system. And she, the, what she does for our program and keeping it organized and running like a well-oiled machine is just amazing. And I would just like to thank um, her for the many hours that she has donated to this group, serving as the group's librarian. Would you please join me in thanking Dana Prater? Come up here, Dana. Come up here. Come here. Come here. All right, so one of the coolest things about this concert is after we finish this next piece, there is an intermission and an ice cream social. So please enjoy some ice cream, some summer conversation. You can tell your friends and maybe some new friends what you're gonna be doing this summer. So please go out and enjoy that at the conclusion of our next piece. Um, 
And if you happen to see Dr. Rachel Bergman, our director of the Whitney Center for the Arts, you can thank her because it's through their generosity that we have the ice cream. So, yeah. Now, it is a bit of a, it is a, very much a bittersweet moment for our visual and performing arts division because um, we're going to ask you to join us with a hearty congratulations and a farewell to Dr. Bergman as she uh, departs to undertake her great new position as the Endowed Chair of Music at Augsburg University in Minneapolis. <laughs> Rachel, would you stand up wherever you are? So thank her for the ice cream, thank her for being such a good uh, faculty member here and, and a teacher and wish her well on her new journey. Okay, on our second half we have the Jazz Ensemble, an array of great sounding student soloists and the two tracks. And we had a rehearsal on Tuesday and if that is any predictor of what you're going to hear tonight, it's going to be a great second half. So please join us for that. Now, the next piece on the program. Um, probably the most fun instrumental group of the 1960s, I'm a brass player, I think they were the most fun, is Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass, right? Do we have some Tijuana Brass fans there? So, with this band has always been fortunate uh, did, since I've arrived, and well before I arrived, but there is a tradition here of a great trumpet section. So I thought, what a great way to feature them and have some fun on this concert with our Tijuana Brass Tribute. We hope you enjoy it.
Thank you so much. It's our great pleasure to bring this second half to you, featuring the uh, Sheridan College Jazz Ensemble with all of our special guests. You know, one of the great things about our music program here at Sheridan College is, we, is that it provides opportunities both for talented music majors and for talented majors in other areas that want to continue their love of music. And this first tune is going to feature one of those students. He's going to be graduating on Saturday with a degree in exercise science, but he's a heck of a baritone saxophone player. So on our first tune, Wombat Combat, we're going to hear from Jake Straup on baritone saxophone.
Jake Strupp, baritone saxophone. All the way from Gillette, Wyoming. All right. Now we're going to bring up our next student soloist, and uh, uh, he's one of my young Jedis. I'm very proud of him. He's my student, and um, he's going to come and play for you on the flugelhorn, the great Jack Mangione tune titled Feel So Good. And uh, he's just another example of student success in our music program as he, he's continuing his education. He's gotten accepted into the music education program at Colorado State University at Fort Collins. So uh, we're excited to see where his trajectory goes. So would you please welcome to play Feel So Good, Mason Means.
Peace and Means, ladies and gentlemen. Our next student soloist is quite a multi-dimensional young man. If you are involved at all or attend any music or theater events here in Sheridan, you've gotten a chance to hear his artistry. We are so glad that he chose Sheridan College. He's completing his degree in uh, music technology, and he is uh, really uh, just a very special and gifted individual. He asked me if he could sing something by Michael Buble, and it took all the way till this concert for me to find something that would work, but he is gonna knock it out of the park. I know you're going to enjoy his version of Cry Me a River. Please give it up for Sheridan's own Zach Allen.
ticket. <laughs> All right, yes. Now that's how you deliver a song. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we, fa we found a really cool arrangement of an old blues shuffle tune called Green Onions, and you are all going to get a threefer on this. We are going to hear one of from, well, come on out, Matthew. There he is. There he is. Yes. You are going to hear from one of our talented first-year students, Matthew Tippich. <laughs> yes. And Aidan Weems on trombone. And finally, another extremely gifted musician, guitarist, composer, arranger. Um, we are, again, we are so, glo so glad that he chose Sheridan College on guitar all the way from Bakersfield, California. We're going to hear from... Charlie Loxog. Here's Green Onions.
Charlie Loxog, Aiden Weems, Matthew Tippich. Thank you so much. All right, we have been looking forward to this all semester. We are so excited to collaborate with this great band, and um, I know that you're going to enjoy what you're about to hear. From Sheridan, would you please welcome our own, The Two Tracks. Thanks so much to Eric for arranging uh, horn parts to our music. Who would have thought? <laughs> Was this a good concert? Some of you probably know we have a new album coming out soon, and uh, we're going to play a song off of that here in a way we never thought we'd get to play it. While they're figuring that out, I'll finish tuning. <laughs> There's some incredible musicians that are coming out of Sheridan College. And um, there's also a lot of community classes that Sheridan College offers. Um, I just signed myself up for the live sound class um, this past semester, and a lot of the sophomores were in that class. And I just have to say, it's just such a great bunch of kids. I mean, they're just, yeah, they're incredible. So. Well, that reminds me, I should do a commercial, too. Um, <laughs> yes, so this fall, I'm excited to be teaching a community interest class. Very low stress, a lot of fun. It's called Jazz Behind the Curtain. And it's just a chance to learn a bit about jazz history and different types of performance uh, schools within jazz, bebop, Latin, fusion. It's going to meet Monday and Thursday uh, at 4 o'clock for 50 minutes, so sign up now. <laughs>
horse inside, I don't ever let them go. go, go. Spin a favorite song tonight, take some time to watch the show, cause they'll grow, don't you know, don't you know. Little boy taps his toes, he hasn't got but he's grinning with a layer sanity. Stands up proud and laughs out loud and falls upon the floor. When the music ends, he's asking for more. Sing a favorite song tonight. Keep those memories close and sad. This one was an oldie but goodie by uh, Julie Hubner here, and uh, off of our very first album. And uh, we got another new one though.
for you coming up. This one's called Working Man's Blues.
Tracks, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thanks to all these wonderful musicians and to Eric for arranging. Thanks, Jake, in the back for doing awesome sound. Well, have you had a good time? So have we, and we have come to the last selection in our concert. Uh, it's been a, been a wonderful opportunity to play for you this last concert of the year as we approach our graduation ceremony. Um, we hope that we will see you at a full range of events next year here at Sheridan College at uh, Whitney Center for the Arts. You can always find out what's happening on stage here. Uh, www.sheridan.edu slash arts. That'll tell you everything that's going on. All right, so this fine group of young ladies here, um, I call them BAM, <laughs> uh, Blessing Okanawan, Amanda Cahal, and Madison Danforth. Give it up for them. We gotta, oh, and before we talk more about what they're about to do, Every, every event that happens here in Kinnison Hall um, relies upon outstanding technical support and outstanding uh, just background support, programs, sound, lights. And I just want to take this opportunity to thank from the bottom of my heart Jake Hirschman and Cora Wood for everything that they do. For us. All right. So, these three students are about to walk that walk on Saturday. They're gonna graduate. We could not be prouder of them. And while they were here, you know, they went through the standard curriculum that music students study. They study melody, harmony, rhythm. They learn about the professional necessities of showing up prepared and showing up on time. But the one thing, before we do this piece, the one thing that I would want to leave with them, the one ultimate truth, is that there is no jam like an old school jam. So put your hands together, have a good time, groove in place or dance if you want to. Here's Earth, Wind and Fire, September.
good night.